Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, we're back to another episode of the Mother 3 Let's Play. So if you guys missed out in the last episode, we uh, basically were trying to grind up uh, Salsa all the way up uh, to level 10 slash like level 12, just so that we could be ready for when we actually have to go and battle out the Cactus Wolf. Now, I know that I kind of screwed up on the name, I think, in the last episode, but the name of it is actually known as the Cactus Wolf. It is a little bit of a scary type of boss to go out and fight here uh, during this chapter, uh, playing as Salsa, because uh, when you actually start off here you actually start off as level one so it's not really the greatest but uh there is a way that you can kind of cheese your way onto getting all the way up to level 10 and that is by actually finding some of these different dung pieces giving it over to one of these special type of dung beetle that's over at the oasis and you can actually get a range from five to i think i believe 50 exp now 50 exp is actually somewhat pretty nice to go and find because that is like the legendary special type of dung that you have to go and find but it's sometimes like a five percent chance of you actually finding it but mainly most of the time you'll be finding five or ten exp which is not really the be uh, not really the greatest but it does help you out quite a bit uh from when you actually do want to have to grind all the way up uh, but anyways uh without further ado we are actually going to be going and taking care of our first uh boss out here uh with playing with salsa uh, but you don't really have to worry about all this too much uh, to be exact because all you have to do is uh, just kind of do your dancing technique uh, or, uh, I believe this Cactus Wolf is vulnerable to, I believe, crying and also, uh, vulnerable to also to Facade. So, Facade can do some pretty nice good damage and actually knock out this thing, uh, pretty quickly. Uh, you could use one of your running bombs if you want to, uh, but I don't know if it's going to do that much damage, but hope you guys are having yourself a good Saturday, and, uh, without further ado, oh yeah, and also, too, uh, when you actually do do this fight, uh, make sure that you actually have, uh, quite a bit of nut bread with you and some, uh, and some other things as well, because, uh, you may probably get screwed here because he does do quite a bit of damage. Uh, but let's go and wake up this guy and uh, let's see uh, if we can actually win this fight out here. Oh man, he doesn't seem all that too friendly. So listen, Mucky, that cactus wolf is the meanest thing in the desert. But we can't just get inside with him standing there. So go beat him up. Lose it all, have an extra serving of punishment ready just for you. Oh man, here we go. So let's go and do this fight then. All right, here we go. We got ourselves the Cactus Wolf. Uh, so basically, to go and start things off first, you may probably want to go and set up some with some dancing. Uh, so it has no visible effects. So, ouch, eight damage. So yeah, you just kind of let Facade kind of just go and run and do his own thing. Uh, I, I guess we could actually kind of do Monkey Mimic, I think. Uh, size up the enemy. So doing up another fighting attack. Nice, Bun Rush. Uh, you can actually just go and throw a Running Bomb if you want. I don't know if that's going to actually knock him out or not, but... There we go, 122 damage. Ouch. All right, you can now kind of want to make sure to actually go and set up for a beef jerky right away. There we go. All right, come on, Facade. You can probably knock him out. Uh, let me see. We could probably go and uh, set up for attack out here. Oh, only one damage. Doesn't really do a lot. Ouch. Yeah, headbutt. Not really the greatest. Uh, can we do another monkey? Maybe? Okay, so I got the situation. Better growl. Okay. Uh, I guess we could probably set up for a nut right out here just to be uh, careful just in case because you never know if he's gonna be doing another smash attack out here So just keep on attacking or just keep on uh, sizing up the situation if you want to Ouch. Okay, come on facade at least do something man. I need your help out here Like attack out All right, here we go throw a bomb nice 231 damage and that is how we do it out here So thank you facade we win that fight out here and we got ourselves some beef jerky, which I believe that always happens 100% uh, of the time. So you'll make sure to get some uh, beef jerky from that. Now you want to make sure to actually keep uh, one running bomb with you because there is going to be an enemy uh, coming up uh, relatively soon that will actually give us ourselves, I believe, the mosquito charm. I think I think that's what it's actually called, and. Uh, you can uh, be able to just knock out those enemies very quickly if you have the running ball because it destroys everybody in sight. Alright, so here it is. So get in you. Okay, fine, we'll do just that. Hey, don't be pushing me inside. Now, I believe you can actually come back uh, to this area if you want to. Uh, um, if you want to actually get like some extra EXP and stuff like that, you can do that if you want to because I'm pretty sure you can just head right back into here if you want. Yep. I thought at first, when, when I first played this game, I thought uh, you would just be able to just get like stuck in there and you'll be never to come back out, but you are totally fine to just do whatever you need to do. Um, but I'm pretty certain I think when we actually do uh, start heading a little bit further into the actual uh, area of this place, I don't think you will be able to come back into this uh, area anymore after this. 
but for now we can actually kind of do that uh, oh, and also too in this area, there's also gonna be some of those violet roaches again So if you ever have not have gotten yourself the back sprite for this uh, guy such as like I have uh, You can actually go ahead and do so. Uh, we actually got something over here. We got ourselves a bug spray So that is kind of nice get some extra bug spray for us now This may be a little bit hard to do uh, just but uh, be careful Okay, so we're gonna kind of let him run around and then behind the tech. There we go we got him behind up here so let us go and let's start trying to whack him down. Nice. All right, so now he finally turned around, but I think it's finally, okay, so he did his brow, but either way, we can just knock him out of here. And there we go, we got ourselves the back sprite for uh, the Violent Roach. And if we actually want to go and check out the uh, the battle memory, since we already got it, already finished out here. Oh yeah, we also do have the EM monster. Oh, well, unfortunately, uh, we don't really have the back sprite for the EM monster, but we'll try and grab most of those out here but let's go ahead and head all the way down to the very far bottom well I actually want to go and make sure if uh, the zombie guys that we have any back sprites on here no we don't so we may probably have to go back and try and grab most of those but now if we actually go all the way down to the very bottom we can actually see that uh, I actually did uh, grab the back sprites uh, for these guys uh, the sail lizard we did not but the great Antillian I actually did and say with uh, these guys as well too. We got the back sprites. All right, so let's keep on heading down here. We got ourselves another thing. We got ourselves the underground map, so that's gonna be really nice. And uh, it looks like we also got ourselves a reviolation machine. Got some presents and stuff like that. Also got ourselves a save frog. So this is a high-tech vehicle known as the Pork Bean. Uh, we're going to take it to an unbelievably uh, uncivilized village not, uh, called s Millie. So this is going to be the part where I think uh, I think when we were playing as Duster, I believe, we uh, we got stopped uh, by Facade. So it takes a incredibly long time to get in there uh, to foot. But with this Pork Bean, we'll get in there like a blink of a knee. All right. So you get all that? Yes. All right. So use that layer to get down there. All right. Well, let's go use the... Uh, yes, so... He's going to explain about the reviolation machine, which we already know everything about, because if you have ever played Earthbound, you should basically know what these guys basically do. Kill you all up. And there we go. So all good now. And let's go and uh, see what these presents are going to be about. Got some extra beef jerky. Thank you. And what is this going to be here? Got so an ancient banana, so relatively helpful out here. Yes, let's go and make sure to save our game. Now, there is going to be some enemies uh, that are going to be new in this area as well, too. Uh, but let's go and uh, pop inside in here. No problem here. But I want to get inside the... Oh, okay. We actually have to crawl down in here. All right. So, all right. Listen, when you want to uh, stop and uh, stop the pork beat while it's moving, press the B button. While it stops, press uh, the B button again to get out. Okay. So, you get all that? Yes. All right. So, get in. Yes, I will get in. Of course, I will. Yes, I the pork bean. Of course. All right, so now we actually get to go and fly around inside the pork bean out here. Uh, but if we actually want to go ahead down here, uh, unfortunately, we can't really do anything about this just yet. But we will be doing that, I think, until we uh, maybe in the next other chapters or so. But keep on heading down this way, and uh, I think for right now we're somewhat okay for a little while. But we are going to uh, be uh, battling out some new enemies out here. But get off. Uh, uh, try getting off in a more open area okay but we do have some new enemies down there uh, but I think there's gonna be some enemies uh, just coming up here relatively soon I think those are gonna be the same enemies as well all right so oh no oh, I didn't want to do that all right let's just go and get stopped right here and uh, let's go and see what these guys are all about behind attack oh hey come on can I go and battle you? Yes. All right. We also got the behind attack of these guys. The huge pill bug. So these guys really shouldn't be anything too scary. These guys should be kind of like the same enemies that we fought before. Uh, back over at the uh, beginning uh, area of this place. All right. So there we go. 30 EXP, but not too bad. Now, I think there is actually a present down in here. And uh, I think that is an actual chick bandana that I think we may probably have to go and pick up for. Let me see. I thought there was an actual present somewhere around in this vicinity. Maybe not. Okay, so we got some other stuff going on. But we got ourselves another save frog. Interesting. And we also got ourselves a bottom part down here. This is cool. Got some nut bread. Interesting. 
And a chick bandana. There we go. That's where we actually do need to go and grab that. So let's go and add that onto salsa there. And I think we are now finally set and be ready to uh, able to continue throughout here. But I really have to do uh, have to say uh, so for myself that I really do like this chapter a lot because you actually get to fly around with this little uh, hovercraft vehicle for a little while, and you also get to knock out uh, some pretty uh, good enemies. To get some, uh, I don't know if you actually get EXP just by running them over, but we can actually go and check. Twenty six. Wow. So we are getting relatively close. So it seems like. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. I think we have to kind of move this ship a little bit over. Uh oh. Uh, hello. Yes, I want to get inside the pork bean. Uh, I thought we were gonna be stuck here for a little bit. All right. There we go. I know my pork bean job is not all that too good, but. Okay, yes, so they actually talk about uh, throwing some running bombs, uh, but let us go and drop ourselves a uh, item down here. Uh, we don't really need the Agent Banana, we can just kind of drop that. It's just something that we don't really need at the moment. But uh, if you actually do read this sign, which uh, I forgot to totally read it here, it says, um, please refrain from throwing uh, running bombs while indoors. It makes things all smoky, which you kind of actually want to go ahead and do because these guys are vulnerable to actual running bombs. So let's go and take care of these guys. All right, so you want to go ahead and do is throw a running bomb at these guys right here, and they're going to be doing a lot of damage to everybody. Ouch. Spray some digestive fluid. Ah, ouch. All right, well, at least that takes care of one of you guys out here. Okay, dude. You guys suck, man. Uh, let me go and throw a, uh, or let me go and throw a, well, I guess I could th uh, throw a beef jerky. Let's go do it. We'll let Facade kind of take care of, uh, other things out here. He's got Edge closer. All right, was defeated. And let's go and make sure to take care of this guy. He's trying to spit. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, we need to throw out another running bomb. Or else these guys are not going to be all that too nice and friendly to us. Uh, where is it? Running bomb. Let's throw it. There we go. We're going to make sure that he goes down and 82 damage for him. And he's gone also as well. Alright, that's how we do it. Alright, so level 12 for us. Not too shabby. We got ourselves our, the mosquito show, which we actually do need from these guys. Okay, awesome. So we got ourselves the mosquito charm. That could help us get a little bit more boosted up. Let's go ahead and head it all the way up here now. So where are we at? It seems like we're back over at the graveyard, back over at Tasmillie Village. But that's pretty cool. I didn't even, uh, we didn't even get to see that there was actually a secret passage here before, but now there is. So there's a place that, that's called the Diado Inn, the, uh, where we can stay the night. So that's where we're gonna be heading to now. All right. Uh, well, we also got one of these guys out here. We can also try and do a behind attack on these. Get ourselves some stuff out here. Uh, let's go and knock him down. Nice. Turn around. Can we knock him out? Yes, we can. All right, awesome. So we got his back sprite. Now there should be a zombie lady around out here. Behind attack on her. Let's go and grab it. Nice. All right, let's go and do it. Wow, that was actually really easy. So we actually caught uh, those back sprites for those guys. And uh, let's start heading on over to Tazmili now. I wonder if this guy can actually talk to a monkey, if not. So this is the Crossroads Bell Tower. Well, we already know that. This tall man never leaves the spot, and I've never even seen him talk with anyone either. Uh, so it seems like he doesn't like to talk to monkeys, though. Okay, well, here we are. Let's go and save up. We're finally here at Tazmili now. I do have to say, I really do like uh, Salsa's OST though. All right, well, what about this guy? He seems like he's up to something. Because uh, we seen him before when he was dumping all that money into the well here. So why hello there, what do you think of the wonderful bag that I just gave you? I is it to your liking? Oh, it's you, Mr. Facade. Oh, don't scare me like that. Actually, I was just counting to see how much it was in here. Uh, just please to be extra careful when it doesn't get uh, swiped by any thieves. Uh, which, of course, that I'm pretty certain I think he does steal the money back. Oh, and we got ourselves Duster. So it seems like we're, it's all coming together. So, oh, pardon me, I just wasn't paying attention. 
Uh, so I'm sorry, but we're in a, in a trouble, so if you'll excuse us. No, come on, little monkey. We should be off. And I guess this is where we got to see where uh, Salsa was actually a little bit sad here because he was getting controlled by this guy. All right. Well, off goes Duster down to where uh, Oso, he, uh, or well, to the Oso castle is going to be. So go and check out this bag. Uh, 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 what do you think is inside? Money? There's money inside. Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. After all, we never had it in Tasmanian Village before, but apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Oh, yeah, and you took a real liking to my pigs. And then he asked me in tears if I trade him for this. It did seem pretty strange at me at first, but then I decided to trust the guy. So he's definitely a friend worth having. <laughs> This man and his money. All right. Well, we already got to see the majority of everything that has happened here so far. So we're just going to kind of let this storyline uh, skip a little bit. But, oh, yeah. And also, too, uh, just want to let you guys know that I am going to be getting myself a brand new mic uh, for this channel. Uh, I'm going to be getting myself the Shure MV7. It's actually a pretty nice, cool mic. It's actually a dynamic mic instead of a compressor mic. So uh, instead of me actually uh, having everything uh, in the background, if you do hear like any noises or whatnot, the dynamic mic is going to be focusing on my voice voice only which that is gonna be very helpful out here and uh, I can't wait until that happens I believe you guys should be uh, or, or well I may probably do an update or something like maybe like uh, uh, in maybe like in the middle of May or so and then I'll tell you guys if I uh, actually got the mic so if we actually go and head to one of these rooms out here I think uh, this is our spot but I think there's also a, a healing area as well too which we can also kind of go and do so yeah, you can just take a quick little rest if you want, and uh, we can just go and get ourselves all saved up and whatnot here. Now I think uh, when you were playing as Flint, I think believe in uh, in chapter one, uh, and unfortunately we can't really head into the store right away because I believe this is where uh, Facade and uh, also Salsa were going to be sleeping at. So uh, you can actually come right here. So uh, so there's really nothing to really go and talk about. I guess we have to go and talk to the actual. Uh, owner of the store first to actually get ourselves an in. Alright, so how much is going to be lodging fee, my good man? Uh, oh, a uh, fee? Yeah, I don't believe they believe in money, so there's no uh, how much here, so please feel free to stay the night. Oh, I see. So still, uh, it's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I guess so, I, I guess so, okay, then I'll kind of accept your offer. I suppose it could make a good doorstep. <laughs> They don't really know what money is, so they're just going to put it as a doorstep. You can just give the money to me. Alright, uh, so, uh, oh no. Ouch! Hey, I wasn't ready yet. Oh my, what was that? Oh, it's nothing. I'm sure that he's merely tired of after our long trip. <laughs> well then, if you'll excuse us. Uh, let's go to the room, shall we? Yeah, I was pretty sure that, that I had to, like, uh, try and make her laugh out here, but, uh, so it's Tasmanian Village. Everyone is nice. Okay. Hey there, monkey. Do you have a, a girl? Uh, well, we actually do have a girlfriend, but unfortunately she's been kidnapped. All right, so here we are. So if you're going to work hard for me, you start tomorrow. Yep. Now, this is where I believe things can... I guess this is kind of like... Kind of a relaxing type of chill type of episode, I guess, because like this part is really not all that too annoying. But uh, basically, all they have to do right now is uh, you have to like take all these different happy, happy boxes, I think that's what they're called, and deliver them to like uh, four different people because we're gonna be uh, doing some sort of uh, I, I, I guess we're gonna be doing like some sort of thing to like literally uh, help out facade for a little bit. But let's just go and save our game here for right now and uh. Do all that right here. And let's see what we got. So what is going to be happening outside? There may be something going on with facade. So where did he go? Did he head all the way up here? So you arrived at Oso Castle. Good. Wait until dawn and then storm the place. Everything is progressing smoothly here. Oh, so this man is literally calling up some reinforcements. What? You saw someone else hanging around in the castle? Yep, well that must be Duster and uh, Kumator and everyone. So that's it, you only saw him? So then leave him be. Uh, he's probably just some villager who just got drunk and got himself lost. Well, probably. So he walks with a limp. Uh, I think he might have seen my, uh, myself. He's got a brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. So yeah, okay, I'll leave it in your hands. So stay alert. 
Oh man, see? So now we actually know how, how the money got stolen because Butch actually blamed us when we were playing as Duster out here. Ah, no! Oh. What the heck? Uh oh. Uh, do you think? Oh no. Well, that's not good. Uh, that's why. No, you're such a stupid monkey. Oh no. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to your room and sleep. Well, that wasn't nice. But uh, don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh. Okay. Well, I'll laugh. Okay, but do you know if you're going to run away? I'm sure that there were more intelligent ways that you could have done it. So let's try to disguise yourself or try to walk without making any sound. But I guess monkeys are just intelligent enough for things like that. <laughs> so I guess you can do actually two different ways. You can actually go and get yourself zapped or you can actually just go right back to bed and uh, fall back to sleep. Alright, so there you go. So we got all these flashbacks going on now. Oh man, it's getting all distorted and everything. Yeah, I guess we're going to be seeing that uh, blue type of pig mask army type of uh, guy a little bit later, I think. Yep. And there's our girlfriend getting stealing away from us. But not to worry, we will go and find her. Ouch. All this electricity. Oh man, here we are. Now we're back. Ouch! Hey man, I'm trying to sleep. Uh, so how long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, you just keep on doing your tricks and all happy like, prance around all nice and funny to help out the charmed villagers. But do a good job and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that grilling monkey. Alright. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heaping up punishment, got that? Oh man, well that's not all that too friendly. All right, so let's go and just quickly save here. Okay, and let me just... Okay, so unfortunately I don't really know exactly how uh, all the different tricks are because I just totally forgotten how them work, but I think the laughing is uh, pointing down. I think to do the black flip is up, and then I think to like do uh, his two other type of dances is like both left and right. So I'll try to remember the majority of all that. But anyways, uh, for the next episode, uh, we are going to uh, help out the sod, uh, do a little bit of a side mission. And then uh, I think later on after that, then we also got ourselves Oho Castle uh, to basically uh, go and rebound any other type of enemies that we have never got their backs right yet. Uh, but I think we should be somewhat okay. Um, and then also too, I think we also got ourselves the, uh, the final, uh, chapter, uh, boss here for chapter three, which that is going to be with the tank. So, uh, that's going to be uh, pretty nice. So anyways, I'll see you guys, uh, in the next episode and peace.